Anyway, I've got my time off already, and that's fine.
are sustained by him and at the click of his finger bless God we become vapour bless God and we are no more but we give God thanks that while he lends us bread we will use our bread to worship him in gratitude giving thanks for the great work of redemption bless his name so I want to start by acknowledging of Edwards, our Elder Thompson from his partner in line, acknowledging also our senior Deacon Wallace, acknowledging our assistant overseer Earl Grant, his partner in life, our presiding sister Shirley Grant, acknowledging also our mother Titoli and all the other saints, giving God thanks for you in Jesus' name that we can come by faith to worship him who we have not seen. And Jesus said to Thomas, you have seen, you have handled me, bless his name, but blessed are they that have not seen and yet believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. That's why we're here, because we have the revelation of who Jesus is. Jesus is here with us today, beholding our devotion, bless his name, and we want to focus on him, forget about ourselves, so that we can give him the glory for all the blessings that he has bestowed upon us. Bless the Lord. I have another song here before we pray, and it's in line with our Sunday school lesson as we're talking about relationships. Bless God, and it's blessed be the tie that binds our hearts in Christian love. Bless his name. And it's 506.
Yeah. 
continue in our devotion. Bless his name, just like what the prophets did in times of old. When they approached God, they had to first build an altar out of stone, unhewed stone, and they had to make a heap of stones, bless his name, then they had to put wood on top of the stones, and then they had to have a sacrifice that they would sacrifice or burn to the Lord as an offering to him. Then they would call upon the name of the Lord, bless his name. So as we have built our altar in our hearts, bless his name, and we bring not an earthly sacrifice, but as the scripture said, we should present our body. We don't have a sheep, we don't have a lamb, we don't have a goat, but present our body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is our reasonable service. So we should have brought our body pure, Holy, bless his name. And now we are able to offer up spiritual sacrifices to God because we have our lamb. Bless God. Remember what Isaac asked for? Father, where is the lamb? Bless God. So you should not come to God without your lamb. Bless his name. And he had the wood. Bless his name. He had the rope. He had the knife. Bless his name. But we are in the dispensation where the Lord will provide a lamb, which is his son, Jesus Christ. Bless his name. We give God thanks that God has made provision for us. Thank you. That we can worship him. Bless his name because he has given us access through his son, Jesus Christ. So this time, as we continue in our devotion, I'd like to ask our senior deacon Wallace, bless the Lord, if he can continue to commit the brethren, especially the ministers, into God's hands. Bless God. As we have our Sunday school lesson, talking about our relationship with the ministers, we should pray for them because they don't have it easy. Bless God. And we give God thanks that we as sheep, God has provided shepherds for us that the Bible says they watch for our souls and they must give an account to God for us. Bless God. So we want to pray for the minister, the ministry in Jesus' name. Praise Hallelujah. So we ask that this present time, Lord, just to bless each and every one. 
us. We pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that each and every time that they stand, then, Lord, pray that the ranch will give in and the privilege will give unto them, Lord, that which you have given unto them that they will deliver. We ask you to strengthen them, Lord. We ask you to guide them. We ask you, Lord, that you will continue to make a way. Then, therefore, Lord, as they would acknowledge that where they have reached within their ministry, Lord Jesus, they did not come just by themselves, but they come by you and by the depending upon you. Then, therefore, Lord, we are there to help them, O oh God, to continue to look towards you, Lord, from whence come at your help. We pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that as they will look to you, O oh God, each and every day, Lord, as you give them something to meditate upon. Lord, and the adversary, Lord, who is always at their side, at their right hand, trying to discipline them, Lord, from that which you have given unto them. But Lord, you know their heart, you know their mind, and you know their creation of the mind, Lord Jesus, that as they will stand and they will minister them, therefore, Lord, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, then they will do that which, O oh God, they know that it's right before you and that it is just before you. So please, Lord, we ask you to keep them, we ask you to guide them, we ask you to strengthen them, we ask you to deliver them. We ask you, Lord, as they will stand, Lord, help them, O oh God, that even though they are doing, doing the, the, the ministry, Lord, we just for here, but many times, Lord, we just, they will stand, fear would stand sometimes before them, but help them not to fear but just to put their trust in you and to know that by your grace and your mercy, you will bring them through. We bless your name this afternoon for them, Lord. We ask you to guide them and we ask you to strengthen them as we continue to look to you. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of your Son, who at your right hand at this present moment, make it intercession for all. We look to you and we tell you thanks. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.
bless God, because what we're talking about, your anchor, if you put your trust in your bank account, you put your trust in your health, you put your trust in your solicitor, in your employer, bless his name, it means that you have no anchor. But if you're in Christ, trust in him alone, your house, which is going to be subject to wind, yeah. rain, yeah. and flood. Yeah. All of us have no special agreement with God that our house can't be flooded. Our house cannot be blown down by tornado. Bless his name. All of us are subject to the same infirmities of man. But the difference that we have is our confidence is in Him and we are trusting Him to keep us that our house will still stand after all is said and done. Bless the Lord. So at this time, as we have finished our devotion, we'd just like to go into our Sunday school lesson, which is taken from unit theme. Timothy, Titus, Philemon. That's the unit theme that we're in. Three people that the Apostle Paul mentored. Yes. Timothy, we well know. Titus and Philemon. We might not know much about Philemon, but we know about Titus. Bless his name. Philemon to serve it. Glory to God. Amen. And the subject is personal relationships with an S in Christian ministry. Subtopic one, God, your calling. Subtopic two, intercede for Christian leaders. Subtopic three, affirm and correct fellow Christian, central truth, leadership development includes relationships that involve prayer and mentoring, focus, affirm and nurture Christian leaders through intercession and mentoring. Evangelism, emphasis, mentoring Christian leaders continues the church's evangelistic mission. And our golden text taken from 2 Timothy 1 verse 4. Greatly desiring to see thee, being mindful of the tears that I may be filled with joy. Bless the Lord. And we'd like to read 1 Timothy chapter, sorry, 1 Timothy 1 verses 18 and 19 as a part of our Sunday school lesson. 1 Timothy 1 verse 18. And it says, This charge I commit unto thee, son Timothy, according to the prophecies which went before on thee, that thou by them mightest war a good warfare, holding faith and a good conscience, which some having put away concerning the faith, have made shipwreck. Bless the Lord. So this time, before we call our teacher for today, I'd just like to ask our sister Shirley if she could bring a song. I've got one. Bless you.
mind the break ring that we don't know about tomorrow. But we know who holds tomorrow and we know who holds our hand. I don't know about tomorrow. I just leave.
Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Blessed Holy Spirit. 